so we report here, it's actually uh, during this procedure, we developed the um, so-called uh, experimental cell division the procedure where the egg cell can get rid of uh, half or sometimes, uh, you know, portion of the chromosomes and uh, resulting the embryo will have actually normal uh, 46 uh, chromosomes. But so far, I think the system is, is uh, uh, doing it wrong, even though we're getting rid of half the chromosomes, but it matters which chromosomes remain inside. So, so that's actually uh, our ongoing research uh, to kind of help the egg to sort out what, what chromosomes actually keep inside. In today's in vitro fertilization clinic, probably more than half of patients we see are due to this either advanced maternal age when they cannot conceive with their own eggs. And they try many, many times to do this in vitro fertilization procedure, uh, sometimes up to 10 times with their own eggs. And, and eventually, of course, they give up and, and, uh, and, and take donor egg. Uh, so the, the procedure we're developing, as I mentioned, would allow them to have genetically related really, really child. In this case, um, you know, there's a plenty of skin cells and we only need a small pinch and to make and multiply them. Uh, so I think uh, despite that the difficulties now, but, you know, science is advancing ahead. We have a more and more new technologies available uh, for us to do research and eventually, I believe, uh, we solve these these issues uh, that you know still remaining ahead, and uh, and the future of the uh, in vitro fertilization, uh, I believe, will use this technology one way or another. But certainly, they have overcome a huge hurdle. Can this actually be done to a degree in hu with human tissue, with human skin cells and, and human eggs? And they very importantly have shown that it can be. So it's extremely exciting scientifically as a fertility specialist. This is ex also extremely exciting because I look after many patients who don't have their own eggs. Obviously, egg donation may or may not be an option for them. And for some people, egg donation is not an option. But many people would prefer to use or most people would prefer to use their own genetic material rather than donation. But, but we are still some years away of this being uh, available clinically. We have to see, first of all, can it work reliably? But most importantly, is it safe? Just to be really clear, this this new development, this this new treatment, which is being reported in the study, would not legally be allowed to happen as a fertility treatment in the UK or most of the world. Um, we are looking very closely. Uh, our recommendation has been that safety is proven before any of these novel techniques that develop eggs or sperm in a laboratory. And this is another version of that before those would be considered to be clinically allowed. 